The cyclist was moving through this high traffic area at Marion and Bayonne. Denver police say a guy in a work truck failed to yield to the cyclist moving through the intersection, hitting her right here. And you can see the crash ends about 40 feet away. This really has shaken me up because I ride through here a lot. Amy Kenright and countless other cyclists move through here every week to get from the Cherry Creek Trail to Wash Park. And some of those cyclists are surprised about the charges the driver could be facing. It's a misdemeanor. Um, <laughs> the official citation is careless driving resulting in death. If I were that per that bicyclist family, I would have a really hard time with that. And if cars are turning, you need to make that turn with complete safety. So Bike law attorney Brian Weiss explains that charges can vary depending on what police find at the scene. And when you have a crash involving death, the investigation that the police have to do is much more involved. Basically, if there aren't aggravating factors such as drugs or alcohol, a hit and run or texting while driving, careless driving is the default crime. It's usually going to be points on a license, but it could be worse. It could be they take the license away. The judge has a wide range of penalties to consider, including a fine of up to a thousand bucks and possibly up to a year in jail. The police report doesn't say what the driver was thinking or if he even saw the cyclist, so it's hard to say what kind of penalties he might face. Either way, cycling advocates say it's a reminder that Denver should continue to keep them in mind as the city grows. I'm sorry that it takes an accident like this to show people that paint on the street does not protect bicyclists from cars. In fact, bicycle infrastructure helps protect all road users, not just cyclists, but pedestrians and motorists as well. In Denver, Ryan Harrow, 9 News.